Hey, what's up everybody? AD here. It's time for another news update. So Rogue Tech has been updated for Battletech Flashpoint, which is awesome. Uh, I downloaded it as of December 13th. Um, so I have to decide now. I've got three series running. I've got two Rogue Tech series, which are on the old version of Rogue Tech, installed before Flashpoint came out. And I have a Battletech Flashpoint series, which I think the Flashpoint series I'm going to keep and keep running through that one. Now I have to decide between Cold Forged and Funky Steve's Medina's t as to which one I'm going to keep. And I think I'm going to keep Cold Forged, um, the Rogue Tech series, with the old version of Rogue Tech. As of now, I've got a couple of extra episodes of um, Funky Steve's Medina's recorded in the old version. And something happens in the, the last episode that I'll be posting for that series. And then I'm going to switch that series over to the new Rogue Tech. So I've started a whole new campaign here um, in career mode that uh, sort of kind of mirrors the old series. They reset the map, so the work that we were doing to expand Tortuga Dominions has all been destroyed pretty much. Uh, so it's basically a start over using the same... Um, name for the company so funky steve's medinas will continue on savage steve will still be leading the group i'm um, looking for a group of pilot uh pilots i want to get sort of someone that's going to mirror possum someone that's going to mirror pylon someone that's going to mirror relentless um just so we have our basic lance back up and running again now the mechs that i got out of this next series we did get a jager mech um which is great but the other mechs are a little heavier. It looks like the tonnage is a little higher in this next version of Rogue Tech, which means I'm hoping that, that it's going to be a little harder on the ground too. So it'll compensate for those mechs that we got. So I'm going to try and work the loadouts. I've already tweaked the um, game uh, or the opening slightly. Um, I was able to buy a few, like for instance, we had a couple of Autocannon 5s on the Jager mech. Uh, I was able to buy a couple of auto cannon fives and put them in. Um, we've got our ship kind of up and running. We have our sec me second mech bay running and things like that. Um, I haven't pulled any missions off. We started off with five mechs. One of them was a Jenner, which I just basically stripped and sold just so I had cash to be able to get the other four uh, mechs kind of where they should be. Um, they're not the best by any means, but they're enough to start with. So that's the route we're going to go with that. Now, um, Cold Forge is going to continue along. We've got the two lances running now. Um, as of this coming out, the second lance probably hasn't premiered yet, but it will be very, very shortly. I've got a few uh, episodes of that in the can as well. So the second lance is coming, um, and I have recorded an episode already with that second lance, so you get to see that coming up. And the Battletech Flashpoint series will continue along as we've been going. Um, but also I wanted to let you know, I've got um, a couple of weeks off over Christmas, so I'm planning on expanding my channel slightly. Um, I want to get my Civ 3 series back up and running again. I had a little bit, I've switched machines since the time I started recording that, that uh, series. And I've been having a really hard time with my modified version of Civ 3 getting it working on Windows 10. So I'm going to bring my old computer back out, my old Windows 8 machine back out and be running two computers side by side and I will be recording um, my Civ 3 series again on that. I know there wasn't very many people that were watching it but I want to finish that series off. It's it, The goal was to uh, make its way into sort of the World War II era and do a big World War II fight um, and that's a, basically a custom built um, Civ 3 experience so I've basically created a mod pack for that. Smooths out the tech tree, smooths out the unit tree, um, and it should make for a really fun experience once we get to the World War II era. So that I'm going to get up and running. Also, I've got um, Emperor of the Fading Suns. Now, probably, unless you're a real gamer, you've probably never heard of this. It was released over 20 years ago. Um, but as far as I'm concerned, as far as sort of tabletop kind of style, moving units around kind of game, it's probably one of the best games I've ever encountered. Um, now, it's it was based on Emperor of the Fading Suns sort of um, uh, book series, I believe. Uh, I don't know a whole bunch of the backstory of that, 
Um, but it's basically five factions vying for control of the local universe. Um, so they're constantly generally fighting with each other. And the idea is to become emperor. So each each of the five factions, uh, or the five houses basically, um, are trying to become emperor. And once you basically declare yourself emperor, everybody's going to dogpile you. So it's one of those kind of games where you have to really be aware of what you're doing and stuff. And then there's also a couple of alien races. There's um, uh, one hostile and one neutral alien race that's involved in the game as well. Plus then there's things like um, uh, there's different factions, government factions that are involved in the game as well, which adds a little bit of intrigue. Um, and then there's the church and the... Um, um, Basically, the merchant group Liegheim, which is basically, they're all they are all, all they are is merchants, and then they just buy and sell to everybody. So it's kind of a really really cool game. It's it's basic in its graphics, but in its gameplay and, and stuff like that, it's kind of a little bit deeper than that. So it's kind of cool. So I want to get a series of that up and running, um, and then I, I want to you know um, do a few things. So I, I kind of gotten back into War Thunder again. Been playing that every once in a while, so I might. Uh, um, release some War Thunder videos and a few other things. So if anybody's got any game suggestions that they think I, you know might be neat to try, um, please uh, drop it in the comments below. Um, XCOM was one that was recommended by my son uh, to give a shot at. Um, uh, also, I believe it's Stellaris was another one that he was mentioning that I should probably give a shot at. Um, so those there's a few other games that I'm probably going to give a... Um, some time to so but as far as these these uh, series goes def um, definitely I want to have uh, Funky Steve's Medina's in the new version of Rogue Tech Cold Forge in the old version of Rogue Tech and the 900 in uh, Battletech Flashpoint and the reason why I don't want to move Cold For Forge over to the new version is that you can't update your old saves to the new game unfortunately and the reason why I'm sort of transferring Funky Steve's Medina's is that was kind of like not really a... It, I mean, it was a kind of serious series, but it wasn't really. So, um, and I'm worried that if I start another big series with this version, new version of Rogue Tech, is that somewhere down the line, um, they're going to do an update that's going to break saves. And I don't want to be stopped halfway through and not be able to keep going. So, anyway, that's kind of my, my feel of it feel of that so yeah if you guys are interested in um you know seeing more from me doing other kind of games and stuff feel free to drop a mention down in the uh comments below um but yeah until that time i'm gonna uh jump into getting the new version of rogue tech up and running with funky steve's medinas and you know see where it goes from there but until next time we'll see you all later